One Piece episode 181 and 182. On the last episode of One Piece, Wiper killed Enel! But I get the feeling he's probably not dead. We're getting a flashback, but I don't know whose flashback it is. There's this old guy who I believe has the same voice as the narrator, and he's talking- Oh, it's Baby Kamakiri! He's so cute! <laughs> he's talking to Wiper and all of his men about what happened with the City of Gold and the Bell and Chandra and the Poneglyph. So Wiper's like, Bleh, blood everywhere. Oh, wow, that is interesting. And Al uses his lightning powers to beat his own heart. And basically he comes back to life. So of course Wiper's pissed. Is this the end of Wiper? He gets kerzapped by 30,000 volts. Zoro picks up the Cairo Seki and he's like, ah, I'm gonna kill you, yay! And then Zoro gets electrocuted, it's very sad. I believe this means only Nami is left standing. Right about now, I bet she's thinking, well, why did we shouldn't have come to the island in the sky? Oh, Wiper gets back up. He's so injured, though. Why, Wiper, why? For my ancestors. Is he gonna get kerzapped again? Okay, so much for Wiper. Uh, Nami is the only one left. But Luffy's still somewhere. Terrified, Nami's like, okay, Enel, I'm gonna join you like you wanted, remember? Wiper has a flashback about the old guy telling him about the great warrior Kalgara. But I don't think we're gonna be able to learn about this until later. So it seems like Anel is like, okay, Nami, you're on my team now. Yay! Best friends. Nami knows how to talk to Anel so that she doesn't get murdered. And she's using the waver to make a path, I believe, so that the others can follow once they wake up. They get to like this little secret fort of Anel's. So he's made this giant boat, basically, that's powered by lightning. And he made it out of the gold. So they'll use this giant boat to go to fairy birth. Meanwhile, Luffy and Asa are having wacky adventures trying to get out of the snake's mouth. Free at last. I feel like Asa should know about what happened to everyone. It shouldn't come as a surprise to her. He sees the giant hole in the ground that was left when Wiper was attacked. He sees Zoro and he's like, oh no! And here's Asa surprised that Wiper was hurt. She shouldn't be surprised. That was like her establishing character trait. Oh, here she is explain. Oh, my mantra didn't work while I was in the snake. <laughs> Robin wakes up and she's like, oh, Nami went with Anel. Asa's like, I know where Nami and Anel are. And Luffy's like, let's go! Okay, so it's time for episode 182. I feel like he's looking at me and judging me. Meanwhile, Connus makes it back to the main island. But it may be difficult because Connus is technically a fugitive. Connus is approaching, but the um, white berets are shooting at her. She drives her boat right up onto the shore and lands right on the captain's face. Just like when Nami did it. Meanwhile, Anel's kind of laughing because he knows what's going on on Angel Beach and he's like, It's a riot! She's causing such trouble! Anel explains that in addition to knowing where people are, he can also pick up on conversations with his, like, electric abilities. I'm not positive, but his hearing is really good too. No wonder he has a god complex. Anel is suddenly like, mm, what's going on? I think it's because Luffy's just coming. Meanwhile, Conus is still having a really difficult time convincing anyone to listen to her. She's trying to tell them all to escape, but they don't believe her because they think she's an evil person. Oh, a kid actually throws a tomato at her, <laughs> but he instantly feels bad about it. She yells that she doesn't accept an ally as God, and everyone runs away because they know judgment is coming. But she's not judged because there's no meaning in taking just her life, since everyone's gonna die soon enough anyway. So everyone's more apt to listen to her now, but they're like, what are our lives gonna be like if we leave? We don't know. Uh, he might change his mind. She pretty much bitch slaps them with her wisdom. So then everyone's like, okay, let's escape. <laughs> the citizens are like, what happened to the um, enforcers? Because our, they're our family. And the white beret is like, oh, don't worry. I'll take care of it. Just keep going and, and it'll be fine. But secretly he's like, ah, they're probably dead. So now the white berets are like, oh, the whole time we were good. <laughs> I, I, 
I don't need, I don't need the wipe rays to redeem themselves. So Conus is like, okay, you take care of everything, sir. I have to go back and rescue the blue sea dwellers. Meanwhile, Luffy is approaching Enel's little fort. Enel's a little concerned because he's like, oh no, my prediction was wrong. <laughs> the subtitles. <laughs> How unbearably irksome. <laughs> Subtitle fail. Poor win, really. Luffy shows up, Nami's wicked happy. Luffy's like, what makes you think you're God? Let's fight, ready, set, go. And El fires his most powerful lightning attack at Luffy. And Nami's like, oh no, he's totally dead. Robber doesn't conduct electricity. I called that forever ago. Because to me, God's wrath looked kind of electric-y. And rubber doesn't conduct electricity. Shazam. I hope I'm not wrong. <laughs> Anel made a really funny face. So Luffy can even hit Anel physically. Luffy is the only person in the world who can defeat Anel. Ah! Yay! That was awesome. Even though Luffy clearly now has some kind of upper hand over Anel, there's still like 12 episodes left. At least two more parts. Episodes 183 to 187 are up next. So, oh golly gee. See you next time. Bye.